working to reduce frustration surrounding local railroad crossings. Reporter Eduardo Morales shares why some locals called the situation a headache and what the city of Yuma and the county plan to do about it. Ask and you shall receive. After receiving multiple complaints from the public about how bad the traffic is, how long the trains are, and how long you have to wait for them to pass by, the county has decided to apply for a grant to relieve some of the traffic around the 9E and Fortuna Railroad tracks. All around adds to commute time, so it can kind of make this area congested with those trains here. Robert Carrasco is one of many people fed up with the situation. To help remedy the problem, Yuma County is looking for a chunk of the $1 billion received by the Department of Transportation Federal Railroad Administration. They are looking into applying for a grant totaling over $1 million. The 9E tracks are near the Arizona Game and Fish location, and Robert Carrasco adds how much of a headache trying to cross can be. It's keeping us from getting to work. It's keeping the kids from getting to school, college students from getting to their classes. Uh, alternate routes around here, they're far away. We're using Fortuna, we're having to use Araby, and it, it's really, really out of the way. The county is planning to use the money for a planning process, which would give them an idea of what the cost benefits are and how the project could potentially look. These residents are frustrated and they want to know um, what's, why nothing's being done about it. And I think these are the first steps in trying to do something about that for them. The city was able to share what the next phase will be after the planning process. And for us to focus more on the actual project and the alternative that we picked. So what did we pick? Did we pick an overpass, an underpass, a bridge? What did we pick to, to eliminate that railroad crossing, right? The plan is still in the early stages, but if approved, they plan to start working at the beginning of 2025. Reporting in Yuma, Eduardo Morales, 13 on your side.